The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. When Jesus got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the message is clear that Jesus would be asking us the question, where is your heart? Where is your heart? And it's a good way for us to examine our conscience because we can look at maybe the mood that we're in at any given uh, day, on any given day, and, or even in moments throughout the day. Sometimes we get angry and irritated and our heart takes a turn. Um, but to be aware of the disposition of one's heart and to try and restore a certain kind of calm and love, even in those moments when uh, suddenly something um, uh, sets us off or uh, infects our disposition. Of course, Jesus is making the analogy about food uh, to uh, speak about all the dietary laws, of course, that were in the uh, practice of the Jewish faith and still are. Um, but to make the point, too, and, and it could be a dangerous one to make because we know that even um, those things to which we are exposed can be dangerous if we are constantly exposing our mind and our, our eyes to uh, untoward things. They're going to affect us. Um, but what he's saying is uh, really there's a defense against all that. We can filter it. In a sense, he's given us the capacity to filter it, but what is more important is not what goes in, even if it's experiences or food, but what comes out. The food is no problem. God takes care of that by nature. But all the other experiences that we have, we have to filter, and we have to make sure that whatever happens to us uh, does not affect what comes out of us, and what comes out of us is so important. And it all has to do with the disposition of our heart at any given moment, at any um, uh, and how, how we allow experiences in the world or in our, in our daily life to affect our heart. So beware of the disposition of your heart. And if it is in a dangerous uh, disposition, um, do whatever you can to purify it and strengthen it by the grace of God. We come to this table to recognize the um, value of, of uh, being chaste, of having a pure heart. Those are such important values for which we should strive every day, for they dictate what comes out of us. <laughs>